Hey guys, Cold GZ, another new release preview. Everything here. We'll hit the shop on Sunday, June 26th, the last release of June, 4 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Hawaii time. All right, we have some really cool stuff here to show you guys today. Uh, first off, we'll just get started with this heat shrink here. Um, we just received um, the heat shrink that the blue heat shrink. Uh, we do not have the yellow yet in this, but you can see here we have foot lengths. Now um, they've been offering, they've been offered in these ten packs here. Uh, which turns out to be five feet. They're six inch lengths. Now we can offer by the foot. Um, so the deal with these is because of how rigid it is, they have to be shipped flat. So we can, they do not come in coils. Um, so foot length is, is the best we can do there. But a lot of, we've been getting quite a few requests because they really, a lot of guys have been getting back to us and they really like this, the heat shrink, both the blue and the yellow. Um, but they've just been wanting um, some a longer length. Um, and so we were able to bring in some. Uh, the blue is here. Yellow is still on back order, just letting you know. But the blue will be available uh, online on Sunday, this Sunday. Again, 4 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Hawaii time. Um, so we got a heat shrink by the foot. Um, you order by the foot. You can order one foot of it. We're not having a minimum requirement on that. It is a little bit more expensive. It's it's actually more expensive to us as well. Um, but we will have that available by the foot. So you can order just one foot of it or you can order 10 feet um, and you'll get it by the foot instead it's for you guys who are really looking for those uh, longer pieces. If you don't need anything above six inches, keep on ordering this. It's a little bit cheaper. Um, I guess you could say per inch or however you want to say that, but it's a little bit cheaper. Um, but, but yeah, so that is available. That's the first thing. So really excited about that because I know a lot of you guys have been looking for it. All right, we'll get with these Marlin Magics now. We have um, quite a bit to go through with these. First off, you can see here, um, if you're familiar with the Superman color theme, we have a bunch of Superman here. Uh, we did vinyl options and rubber skirt options, and we also have a lot of head only options um, in every shape. So so with the Superman um, with the vinyl, we actually did a couple two-tone vinyl. Um, we actually find that it's easier to do the vinyl work on those, uh, the, those heavy ha tapered, like Captain's Choice, Bog Eye, um, Hibby. The, they're just, they have that extreme reverse taper and so we find that it actually is easier to do a two-tone vinyl anyway. Um, which a lot of times we just do with a single color, but we did a, a couple with the two-tone um, blue and, and white there to kind of match that shell. And then underneath you got the the red and, and chartreuse or yellow tuff tails. Um, so we did a bunch of those. And then and then that is that classic um, classic Hawaiian color. And we have these in pretty much... I think there's 13 shapes, 13 or 14 shapes. Uh, bog eye. Um, here you have the large plunger. Here you have the hibby, and then there you have the large pear. There you got the XL ruckus. The super dog is over here, and I'll get I'll get on that one here in a second. Super dog. Um, then we have the there's the XL ruckus, um, and then we have the large ruckus and the big dog right there okay then we also have the 12 inch ruckus right there we have some taxidermy eyes we do have pretty much in every shape we have a couple of these collectors series okay and the collector series has the real shell eyes or i say real shell they're sh tahitian pearl and mo white mother pearl eyes kind of a custom um custom mother of pearl shell I and then uh, Gary signs on the lure on the bottom. So it's the collector series, a little bit more expensive, but especially given that these are a very classic color that they rarely do. I even talked to Gary just a little bit ago. Um, usually when they make these, they <laughs> only make about five or so, and they don't make them very often at all. Um, and so we basically got the largest batch of Superman that he they've ever made. Um, and this is a very classic color, very popular, especially back in the day. 
Um, not many guys make this color pattern anymore, but it's it's kind of a Kona classic. So um, on top of that, we have what is known as the the grander AP here. Okay, that's this uh, the flat nose AP. This thing caught an 1100 plus pound blue marlin. They call it the grander AP. It's in Superman color. That's the the color pattern um, that that one that that one caught. Uh, very well-known lure and color combo um, and then we have the regular ap bullets there as well okay i'm um, trying to think if i i think that's it for the superman um, probably most of you guys are very familiar with that color pattern but if you're not it's a, it is a classic um, and we have regular awabe shell um, that's it's all white awabe shell or we have some starburst you can see the starburst pattern there um, and then we also have mirrored like this is a this is a very popular super dog uh, mirrored bait um, and if you we've had actually a couple of these classics uh, from you know 20 25 years ago when we got some pre-owned lures and you could see that they're all kind of like coppered out where they they look or, or they look like a charcoal color because uh, they're just um, they ended up um, catching uh, all the, I mean, they just, they, uh, what happens is basically with the mirror, the water gets in there, especially when the marlin takes it down deep and it can kind of, um, corrode that mirror out. And it's kind of a very popular coveted, uh, style when, and, and you know that they, they've caught fish when they look like that. Um, so anyway, just, that's just another little tidbit with, uh, with those mirrors. If you've seen some of those marlin magic mirrored lures and they, they look like, they're just completely corroded inside and everything that's because they've caught fish um so anyway uh let's go to these magenta ones okay so we call this a squid pattern this is actually um inspired by captain jay watson uh, with wide widespread fishing who won the 2021 um uh big rock tournament they caught the the winning i think it's 656 uh, pound blue marlin on a magenta squid colored um, lure so in and I believe it was mirrored like these so that mimics kind of that flash of the of the of the squid that they're going for um, they have rainbow back and bottom you can kind of see the bright flash there that rainbow color and then they're all mirrored um, there are some that have starburst like this starburst super dog we only have these in four shapes, the super dog. We have the ruckus. We have a large tube and I'll go over that here in a second. And then we have the infant blue. Um, that infant blue in particular has been just slaughtering Marlin late, uh, lately. I think, is it Captain Kevin Hibbard? Um, or Nakamaru. Um, anyway, there's a couple captains. Uh, Marlon Parker is one of them, especially, uh, that have been just catching a ton of blue marlin this season on these infant blues. Um, and so we, uh, this would be your shotgun position. Um, we kind of tried to position these out. So here's your shotgun. The tube would be more of your um, your long rigger. The ruck is more of the short rigger. Uh, maybe a long corner, and then you know, the super dog on your short corner. But we only did a set of four. Um, that you buy them individually, we don't have them in sets, but so the deal with this large tube, um, this was kind of a custom request by, by, uh, Captain Watson. So I'll, I'll, I'll compare it to the typical large tube. You can see that this new large tube, especially if I compare back to back, you can see it is much shorter and is actually wider as well. So this new large tube, this is, these have not been made before. Um, it is a wider tube and it's actually got a shorter nose to it um, That is through a request from Captain Watson So when you see these they are not the typical large tube shape and that will be distinguished on our website, but um, That is I believe the last piece of information for all these So we got a bunch of these we have a bunch of stock. There's head only options as well um, check out the website for what's available we have pretty much all these that you see skirted up we also have a head only option or we have a different color variation you can see right here's a here's a big dog and um the oh shoot the big dog and the large plunger um 
And so, and then here's some more right there, ruckus um, and the tube and all that. So we do have head only options if you're looking for, cause you guys may want to skirt them a different way or skirt them yourself. Um, on these magenta ones, just real quick, we, we sh shot for like a, a squid pattern, uh, orange and pink and magenta to match the, uh, the head a little bit. So it's kind of got a squid custom color pattern. Um, that being said, that's it for the Mono Magic. So let's move on to the Coggins. Try and get through these real quick because I uh, wanna, don't want to get make this video too long. Okay, so we have, as usual, he makes some amazing stuff. Here's your die curl work. Those are Mauna Kia's, Mauna Kia Tato's. We have some teardrops. There's a teardrop invert and teardrop slant, all jetted with some real shell and die curl work. Okay, all of his shell stuff, they're all real shell slabs. He cuts them individually. You can see the thickness on those things. Okay, they're they're not like the veneer shell where it's just super thin. These are real cut shell pieces. He's one of the last guys to do that still, outside of maybe John Lau. And now uh, um, uh, Brian Crampton is doing that um, for Crampton Bates um, for his dad. So... Um, then we got the Copa tubes. We haven't released these in a while. There's a handful of them. Um, some very nice color patterns, mostly mirrored. And then we do have one of the, uh, kind of the lava look, um, dichro glass stuff. We have the, let's see there. That is the Tato Huwilalai slants. Um, we have some, um, oh goodness gracious. What do you call it? The lie skin. Um, some real lie skin right there. We have real mother of pearl shell. There's golden shell. And then here, these are a unique lure. Uh, this is the first release in like 30, 30 plus years for Steve Coggin. This is called the Bob Knob. Okay, they're kind of a doorknob style. They're heavy. I'd say probably around eight ounces, give or take a couple. Um, they are heavy and they're jetted. All of them are jetted. So you don't see this kind of style of lure made much anymore. Um, very old school style. Like I said, he hasn't made them in 30 years. And um, so he did, he had been advertising or posting them, you know, maybe a few months ago. Um, uh, but we, we grabbed, we grabbed a handful of them or six of them. Um, and they're all mirrored, very nice colors. Um, very nice skirt color patterns to match the head. So, um, the, I would say I kind of asked Steve a little bit about him. Um, he said the long, long quarter, short rigger would be good, good positions for these, but, um, and you can troll them a little bit faster than, than you might typically just cause they are heavy and they are jetted. Um, all right. The Copa lures, we have Copa lure scoops. There's three dichro glass ones, some really brilliant color pattern. That's more of an ice blue there. And we call that the diamond dichro where it's kind of clear. Um, there's a diamond. And then we have these new to us uh, sugar bear inverts. All right. We have some dichro and some real shell there. Okay. Um, they're a, more of like a seven inch size lure. Very short nose and inverted with, uh, with jets. Okay. And then we have um, the small slant bogeys. This is also new to us. We've had some inverts before, but these are the slanted versions with jets. Uh, seven inch size lure again. So some very nice color patterns. Then we have some five inch baits real quick. We got the, the peanut sticks, five of them. And then we have some baby peanut sticks right there. So that rounds it out for the uh, Coggins. Um, these have been a long time coming. We've just been needing to skirt them all up and everything. So. Um, so that's it for this week. Again, everything hits the store um, on Sunday, June 26, 4 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Hawaii time. This will be our last lure release on Sundays. We are going to do a, the tantrum skirt release next Sunday, and then we're shifting to Friday schedules. There are two reasons for that. One, a bunch of holidays fall on Sundays. Um, sales have been doing really well. You guys seem to be really digging it, but it kind of convolutes things with especially with our families and stuff uh when we're doing releases on sunday so we're trying to shift things up and hit that friday before the weekend um and yeah so we'll shift that but all right appreciate you guys have a good weekend